is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have thinking outside the box episode number three for you guys it's been back to back sundays that we have posted this and i think this will make the third in a row now that we have posted a thinking outside the box i don't know if that will be a trend i don't know if that'll continue but i'm gonna do my best to you know if i can't think of anything if i can't get the creative jo juices flowing there then i obviously don't want to force something that's not there but i think i have some pretty good ideas for you guys today and i think it's going to work out hopefully but if you guys missed wwe action figure surgery episode 39 yesterday definitely go check that out very very successful day of surgery had a ton of fun on that episode so definitely go check that out but if you guys do not know what thinking outside the box is you haven't been here on the channel yet this is our box right here that sits over there by my loose elite figures and it's basically as you guys can see it's basically just a bunch of wwe elite figures that are missing parts so basically what we do on this series is we take a few things out of this and then we put them together with my fodder boxes i have like four or five of these fodder boxes full of just parts of wwe action figures we put them together and see if we can put these guys back together and we try to see if we can create our own little custom fantasy attires or if we can you know put them back to the way they were originally or create like a random superstar creator wrestler from freaking here comes the pain or some shit so basically that is what we're going to do here today it's what we do every time on thinking outside the box so let's go ahead and proceed with episode number three and i actually have a couple of ideas right off the bat if you guys can see this figure right here or this part of a figure right in front of your face this is my work in progress Dolph Ziggler elite that i never finished i never got it quite right um you guys i think i showed you guys a long time ago this and i wanted to make a light blue attire without any paint on it but it never really came to fruition this was using the retro fest Shawn michaels elite from gamestop so what I'm thinking is I think I have the parts to put Ziggler together, but all we're going to do, he'll basically have blue trunks with uh, orange and yellow zebra print. I mean, that's basically what this attire will be. Maybe I have some knee pads. I will have to check that out, but uh, we will see. We're going to dive in there. We're going to see what we got, but I think I can put this guy together and have like a fantasy attire Dolph Ziggler deal, and uh, I think that's what we're going to do for our first little piece of surgery slash thinking outside the box. Our next business that I think, guys, is this guy right here. We actually made this guy on WWE Action Figure Surgery yesterday, and a lot of people were, you know, saying, make a custom guy. Make a Drew McIntyre in white. Make, uh, you know, this. Make that. And so I think we're going to just dive into the box and see if we can find some arms to put on this guy in white and then maybe a head sculpt. Maybe we have the Drew McIntyre. Maybe we can look at that and just kind of see what it looks like. It may look shitty. It may look like trash. So we'll just have to play around with that. I don't think the uh, Elite 71 head sculpt looks good on this body. I just don't think that that's going to work because this torso is smaller than his current torso, and I don't think that'll look very good. So we'll just see about it. You know, we'll play around with it, but we are going to look for some bigger arms and a head sculpt for this guy, and I think that'll look pretty badassery when it's all completed. Another idea I had, I actually found this guy. This guy has not been in the box just yet. This is his first little, like, day in the box, and he's already getting out of there. I bet a bunch of people in here getting jealous of this Godfather Elite that is broken down. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we are going to put a head sculpt on. I think I have a head sculpt that's going to work out and it may be funny. The skin tone may be slightly off. We'll have to see about that. But I think I have a really funny idea for this Elite with the green pants and everything. So I think that's going to turn out. So that's three figures that we have right there. I feel like I had one more in my skull that I can't think of right now. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to try and put this Chad Gable back together just because uh, he's only missing arms. Like he can easily be on the shelf. I gotta have some arms in here somewhere, so we're gonna try and find arms for Chad Gable just to get him back on the shelf. You know, get him out of this box and uh, try to get through this box as, you know, fast as possible or much as possible as we can as we go through these episodes. If you guys are wondering what's wrong with this, it's because he's missing a foot, Brad. Just like Rey Mysterio broke his foot off, man. Sad-ass story for Farouk. Damn! And then the last thing that I think I want to do is use this Brian Pillman, and I don't know, I kind of want to like switch the boots or put some knee pads. I don't know what I want to do with this guy, but I want to do something with him, so we'll, we'll try to figure out that. But that is five figures right there. That's five figures for today's episode of Thinking Outside the Box. We're going to shut the hell up now, move on from this box. You guys can see we have plenty of future episodes to make, 
and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make more episodes of this to come as we continue going on, but we have our five figures. Let's go ahead and get into the processes and figure out which parts we're going to use. All right, guys, so for our first order of business, it's going to be finding a head sculpt, some arms, and some boots for this Dolph Ziggler custom fantasy attire fodder piece of trash. So the first order of business is obviously the head sculpt, and looking up on my shelf right now, I don't think I have any of the... Go oh, snap. I think I spy a head sculpt up there, but I don't know if I want that head sculpt on it. I kind of want to use one of his blonde hair attires, and I think I have a blonde hair attire in this box somewhere, so we're just going to have to fiddle diddle through. I do have a ton of Dolph Ziggler's. Like a Actually, I see it. I see him, Brad. Is that it? Yes, it is. It is the classic head sculpt. It has a little snuffage right there on my eye socket. Not a fan of that. All right, well, there we go. We got the head sculpt. This is the head sculpt I wanted to use. I don't want to use the brown hair. I think I want to use the blonde hair. So we're going to use this Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler head sculpt for now. And now we just have to find some boots. And I think I actually have some Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler boots right here in this section right here because I keep my black boots here and, you know, other color boots, like mainly black is what I mean. And then I have my mainly white boots right here. And it looks like, uh, right now, where is it at, you stupid ass? Here's one boot, and here is the other boot. So there we go. We have Dolph Ziggler boots from Elite 70. They do not have the black outsoles, but this is all we can work with for now. Maybe one day we can add the black outsoles. But, you know, the whole purpose of thinking outside the box is to not use paint or anything. We want to just, you know, use our fodder boxes, use our thinking outside the box, fodder Elite box, box, box. How many effing times can we say box? But we're going to take these Elite boots, and we're going to put them on Ziggler. And now I have to dive into the arm box so that I can find some Ziggler arms, and I think I do have some uh, basic Ziggler arms in there somewhere, so let's go ahead and take a look-see. Putting the arm box in position, go ahead and open up the old trash can here. Taking a look, what do we have? All right, there they, there they are. So I found the one arm, and I think the other arm's in here somewhere. Where are you at, you piece of trash? Christ. And there we go. So bam, we have our basic Dolph Ziggler arms and those are going to go terrific on there. Didn't want those jacked arms. I think these will look way better. So we do have our arms now. So Ziggler is complete. Now we're moving on to our white fantasy attire, whoever the hell it's supposed to be. So for this guy, we need some arms and we need some head. Giggity. So to find a head sculpt again, let me go ahead and grab Drew McIntyre's head just to see what it looked like. You know, it's probably going to look terrible. I already know it's not going to look good, but we can try it anyways. I keep all interchangeable Ultimate Edition parts and different Elite parts in this baggie. See, I'm an organized person, Brad. So here is the Elite 71 Drew McIntyre head sculpt. It's like a variant head sculpt and popping this onto the figure. Yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of that. It just looks too big or something. Here's a zoom out shot so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The head just looks too big for that torso, and I think I agree with that. So even if we increase the arm size, the arm size would help it, but it needs to be switched out. Like, it's the torso and the shoulders, I think, mainly, that makes it look so weird. So we cannot use that head sculpt. Like, from the side, it doesn't look too bad, but straight on, you guys can see, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not feeling that. So for a head sculpt for this guy, I really don't know what I want to use. Like, I just don't know if I like anything, you know? Like, I, I just don't know what's gonna look good. I mean, that Edge head sculpt may look good, but then it's gonna look like Edge, so I don't know. But I guess all these head sculpts are gonna look like somebody, so I really don't know exactly what I want. Like, do I want him to have long hair? Do I want him to have short hair? I really could not tell you, Bradley. So I actually just found this Nikolai Volkov head sculpt, and I think that this would actually look pretty good on there, because you guys know that, you know, Nikolai Volkov isn't on TV anymore. He actually just recently passed away in 2018. So I think that would, I mean, that, that would look pretty solid, I think. I think it scales well with it, and we may take a look at that. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys missed the last episode of Thinking Outside the Box, I found that Rich Swan head sculpt. So stupid. But yeah, I think I'm going to use the Nikolai Volkov head sculpt. And uh, we are going to now find some arms for this guy because I don't want him to have black wrist tape. I want him to have white wrist tape so that it matches the attire. I think I've decided on two different pairs of arms. Should I go with the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes arms with the white wrist tape on the right arm with the, uh, you know, the ripped up arms? So, you know, match that well? Or should I replace the right arm with this hand-taped one? Or should I go with these Dean Ambrose arms, which have white wrist tape on both, or the taped hands on both? The arms are just not as jacked. You know what? F it. We're going to heat them all up and then pop them on, and then we can just do a vote in the comment section. I'll tell you guys which one I like the most, and then we can decide. So that is it for our white fantasy attire. Now, for this guy, the green pants tattooed up guy, 
I am going to go with No Way Jose, guys. I'm going to take this No Way Jose head sculpt and pop it on here and see what it looks like. It kind of is going to look like sort of an updated Jose. I mean, he's not really on TV anymore. He's kind of wearing camo now. But you guys remember that short stint when he turned heel and had dreads and he had green pants? I mean, that'll be similar to it. Obviously, won't be fully just like it, but I think it'll be cool to have him tatted up. And uh, he, the, I don't know if the skin tones will match perfectly, but they'll be very, very close. And I just kind of want to see what it looks like. Uh, and and It'll get, you know, uh, this Godfather body out of the box. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, for the Chad Gable, he needs some skin tone arms that are not quite the uh, Cody Rhodes skin tone. They're a little bit darker, but they are not too dark to where it won't match. You know what, Brad? Actually, I don't have any arms. I just searched through all of my arms, and I don't have a single pair. So that sucks. No white wrist tape, you know, darker skin tone, but not too dark. And I don't have anything that's going to look good at this moment. So we're just going to have to sit on the, the Chad Gable for now. But lastly, we have this Brian Pillman Elite Body. And I, uh, let's see. I mean, I could make another Ziggler. I could make a couple of Zigglers. I've seen somebody do this fix up before. I don't know who it is. But, you know, take this like, you know, like uh, Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler head put it on here, and then uh, then uh, I don't think we'd have to replace the arms. I don't think we really would have to. I mean, I guess we could if we wanted, but then all we'd have to do is just find some knee pads and some uh, some boots. Obviously, we wouldn't have the Ziggler boots because we're putting them on our other Elite, but if we could find some knee pads and some different boots, then we'd have like a Zebra Trunks Ziggler, and I don't know. That may be something cool to look at, so I think I'm actually going to put this Ziggler head, this Elite 5 Ziggler head on there and just see what it looks like. Maybe one day we could paint his hair and give him a different name now for arms i really don't know what our uh, we don't have to switch out the arms so i don't have to worry about switching the arms i know a couple of you will probably say why don't you take the arms off of this guy and put them on the chat gable these uh, arms are actually too dark for that actually i just held them up next to each other and they're actually the exact same i thought that he was the uh the darker skin tone he's actually not so that's good okay so now this is we may be able to come back and revive ourselves we're going to put these arms over on the chat gable to get him back on the shelf but then we come to the impasse where we need some arms for the ziggler guy or fantasy little piece of shit i mean we could put the gloved seth Rollins elite arms on there but that may look stupid. It's stupid, but we're doing it. We're going Elite 37 Seth Rollins arms with the black gloves, and we are putting them onto this Dolph Ziggler custom fodder piece of shit. I don't even know what we're going to do with it, but we're just going to, you know, we're playing around with it. Thinking outside the box, we're just, we're messing around here. Then all we need are some knee pads. And for knee pads, I think I have some just plain black ones, so that may be what we go with because I don't really think I have any orange or anything, you know, really creative or cool to put on the guy. So I think I'm just going to put the black ones on there. So here are the black knee pads we're going to put on the little orange zebra print Ziggler. You know what? F it. We're going to put these white Ringmaster boots on there. But now, guys, we have every single thing that we need for our surgery portion of the video. So now I'm going to meet you guys in the backstage area to do all of our swippages and swappages here today on Thinking Outside the Box, episode number three. All right, guys, it is time for our surgery portion of the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We got the white trusty hair dryer, always. We are uh, ready to go. Um, I guess we need to figure out exactly how we want to place it because um, I guess we can go ahead and get Chad Gable all situated because uh, I think we need to do his switch first because we are going to be switching you know a bunch of parts right here so what we can you know I kind of want to try to go for like a marathon like we did you know get a good reaction but I don't know well, let's just see what we can do let's see what we can like set up right here so we do know that we're putting these arms onto Chad Gable so we do know that we have to heat this up the unfortunate thing is is I don't think I can heat up these arms and his boots at the same time so that is going to be where the um where the uh the mix-up will happen like we're not gonna be able to switch every single thing because those boots won't be able to be heated up we can do a big portion of it though uh chad gable does not have to be heated up at all so he can move out of the way get the hell out of my face sir we'll put the ziggler head right here um no way jose you know we can just stick him right here because all we have to do is stick his head onto the godfather body so the godfather body can come up here to the side so we don't get him involved um these boots really don't need to be heated up because i don't think we're going to be able to heat it up unless i heat it up at a strategic point like 
at an angle maybe, it'll blow down and get that as well. We'll have to see about that. I'm gonna put the knee pads out of the way too. You want your knee pads out of the way, you don't want those to get burnt because they will like morph and then they'll be root. Don't wanna ruin them. So if we take these Seth Rollins arms and get them in position too, we may be able to make the big switch. Um, again, we're going, I'm going big or go home, Brad. You want to get all this in one take. You want to freaking set the record right here for most swaps in, I don't even know, I think it was like a minute 17 last time when we did the Shawn Michaels on the last episode. But we're going to see right here. Um, we also have to heat up these arms. And again, did you want, do you want to see the Dean Ambrose arms onto this, uh, this big torso? which I think would look okay because it has dual white tape. I think that may be a good look. But these arms are more jacked, and this one's plain. However, uh, this one has, you know, the, uh, the the tape on it. So I don't know. I kind of feel like the ja more jacked ones would be better. Ah, I'm going with the jacked ones. We're going with the jacked ones. We're going with the jacked ones. Now we have to figure out, do we want the hand tape on the one, or do we want the no tape at all? I'm going taped one. I'm going taped one. I'm going taped one. All right, so here we go, putting the Volkov head right there. Go ahead and slide these arms up, see if we can get this going. Oh, bro, we're going for the freaking high score right here, Brad. We are going for the high score. I am literally going to put all of this in front of the hair dryer, and I'm going to heat that hoe up, and we are going to go for the biggest damn swap I've ever seen, and we're gonna be like a bat out of hell. We're gonna be switching and swappaging like a madman. But if we can complete it, if we can complete it, but the most damn amazing thing I've ever seen. But we'll have to find out. I have to strategically place it, you know. You can't just throw it up there. You gotta make it strategic. It's gotta be right. You can't just go in there, guns blazing. It won't work. You gotta do it correctly. It's like a freaking puzzle over here. One more boot and one more arm and we're gonna go for the ultimate swap right here. And I'm gonna lose my damn mind if we can get it going. All right, Brad, here we go. So remember, out of all this, we have a we have two Dolph Ziggler heads we gotta pop on two different bodies. We gotta take the arms off of the Brian Pillman body, put them onto Chad Gable, put the Seth Rollins arms onto the Brian Pillman, take the boots off of the Brian Pillman. That's gonna be the big challenge is are these boots gonna pop off? I think that's gonna be the big question. If these boots pop off, I think uh, we're I think we're gonna be able to do it, Brad. But here we go. I'm gonna heat this hoe up. And it's the moment of truth. We're going to see if we can get this thing going and see if we can heat up every single thing all at once. And I'm prepared to get hyped. All right, guys, it's showtime. Let's do it. Let's freaking go for it. Arm off, arm off, frickin', uh, where's it at, where's it at, oh god, here we go, frickin', pop that arm on, oh, I can already tell that arm sucks, these arms aren't gonna go on here well, oh, that sucks, Jiminy Christmas, you know, we're not giving up on it, we're not giving up on it, we're gonna try the Dean Ambrose arms right now, we're gonna try them right now, come on, no, no, we're failing, we're failing, Oh, my kids is a disaster. You know what? I'm going to save it. Dr. Whitekiss, uh, we're losing him. We're losing him. We're going to come back, though. We're going to respond. We're going to get back on it. We're not losing him. We're going to come back and win. We're going to come back and win. Here we go. Here we go. We're not failing. Get the other boot on here. Get the other boot on here. Bam. Bam. Ziggler head sculpt. All right, that, that thing's done. That thing's done. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Okay, you guys want to see how you get this? You see that peg inside that Jose head? You get the pliers, you grab that, and you you freaking pull. Popsy Nopsy, get that out of the face. Over to the Godfather, popping this head sculpt on here. Boom, bam, pap, cat feud. Go over here. Brian Pillman arms off the, off the chain. Bam and bam. Over to Chad Gable. Come on, Brad. We're coming back in the game. We're slowly but surely one drive at a time coming back in the game. Come on, got to freaking finish. Got to finish what you started, Brad. Come on. Chad Gable done. Over to Ziggler with the other head sculpt. Popped on there. Boots. 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 Got it. Other. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, God in heaven. 
Oh, God, the freaking knee pads don't want to go on. Come on, Brad. Damn it, the knee pads are going to ruin it for us. We we're killing it. Go back over here. Got that head on there. The Dean Ambrose arms aren't heated up enough, I don't think. They were like in the distance, though. It would have been a miracle to get these on. Oh, come on. Don't give up. I think we can do it. Oh, my God. They're not... They're like on there, but they're not on there, if you know what I'm saying. Urgh. They're not on there completely, but geez, man. Go back over here. Try to put the gloved arms back on the Ziggler here. That's going to work out. Oh, come on. Now it's just these damned knee pads preventing the boots from going on. Then we'd be right there. We'd be so close. What ruined it is those damn Cody arms on that freaking. I thought it would work. I guess it's just the shoulders are too small. All right, the knee pad's on there enough. Now I gotta put the right knee pad on. And then the boots with the stars on them. Got it. Got it. The only thing right here that's not completed. Got the one arm on there. Uh, uh, we got it. It was a struggle. Not gonna bullshit you. That was a struggle, and we almost failed. But every figure I think is complete. These arms are on here. There's no, there's no bullshitting about it. We did get everything switched. We actually did get everything switched, which is a freaking miracle. We didn't give up. We pushed on. We persevered. And we completed it. Now we can take a look at everything we've done here today on Thinking Outside the Box episode number three. All right, guys, so here's everything we did here today on Thinking Outside the Box episode number three. I mean, my God, was that a struggle. I'm still exhausted. I can pass the hell out right now after all that right there. But let's go ahead and take a look. This Ziggler actually turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks. We do have the blonde head sculpt on there with the white boots and the white tape. Leg is a bit loosey-goosey, but it's not on ball joints, so I guess that's just from the heat. I'm not sure. But again, this was the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Shawn Michaels that I actually just took the parts off of and tried to turn it, I tore, or so swapped it, and tried to turn it into a Ziggler. I mean, it's decent. I'll put it up on the Ziggler shelf just for shits and giggles and everything like that. So, um, I think it worked out. You know, we got him out of the box, so that is the biggest thing. And maybe I can come back to this custom in the future. We also have our No Way Jose Godfather or No Way Godfather or Godfather Jose right here in the lime green pants. And I don't think the skin tone is off enough. I think it just kind of looks like the, uh, it kind of just looks like his skin tone's darker because of the tattoos. And that could be the case. I'm not exactly sure. I think they're supposed to be the same skin tone, but nonetheless, I like it. I think it's hilarious. That big old smirk with the afro and the tank top and everything. Looks like a baller. Chad Gable, very self-explanatory. We pretty much just put the TNF Chad Gable Elite back to the way it was. We have our custom Nikolai Volkov, like, create a wrestler in the all-white attire. Looking pretty solid. I think this head sculpt, again, does look good on this body. I hate that the Cody Rhodes arms didn't work out, but you know what? It's good because it, it eliminated them from contention for, you know, it's not like we were like, ah, kind of, you know, which ones look better. Now we don't have a choice, you know, it's these are the ones we have to go with because they fit the arms. So the Dean Ambrose arms actually look okay with the white tape and the white boots and everything. Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section. And then we have this weird hybrid Ziggler creator wrestler weird dumb attire with the ringmaster boots, the black knee pads, the Seth Rollins arms with the gloves, and then the zebra print trunks with the Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler head. Very weird combination of things, but I think it ultimately works out. I think these heights are pretty much the same. If they're not the same, they're very, very close. So that's uh, that's it for that. I don't think I'm going to put him on the Dolph Ziggler shelf, though. I think he'll be a creator wrestler or something down the line. So I guess I'm going to put him, Jose, and uh, this guy back into the loose elite box, but we will be putting Dolph Ziggler and Chad Gable on their respective shelves, and I think that is going to do it for this episode of Thinking Outside the Box, guys. So let, with that being said, let's go ahead and add these guys to the selections of the collection that they belong.
that's pretty much going to do it for Thinking Outside the Box episode number three. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the full episode. Let me know down below what you thought of all the switches and swappages and stupid stuff like that for today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNameToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.